Welcome to Buy It on Birch Street, the weekly show where we highlight the best of procure to pay on demand in innovation, automation, and solutions to help save you and your customers valuable money and time. Birch Street Systems provides global enterprises with multiple locations a complete procure to pay business solution deploying cloud technology. I'm your host, Gareth Fraser. Our guest today is Business Development Manager for Central North America, Patty Monahan. Welcome to the show, Patty. Thank you for having me, Gareth. I appreciate being here. Let's begin by having you share some of your professional background and what brought you to Birch Street Systems. For me, I've been in hospitality all my career. I started out actually working at a small resort in Lake Placid, New York, and eventually found my way into the technology side of hospitality, which is where I've remained for more years than I really want to admit. Kind of embarrassing. So been around for quite a while. I've trained, consulted, and sold sales and catering solutions with Amadeus Hospitality. I've sold electronic signature solutions with Certify, and now with Birch Street Procurement Solutions. But if there's a theme there, it's all specialized in, in the hospitality industry. I just can't, I can't leave it. Well, I agree with you. It's an industry with, that contains great passion and enthusiasm, and it's all about service and giving and helping and, and positive and happy. So, Patty, no surprise that you can't leave it, and your personality is a perfect fit for the hospitality industry. Next, could you share with our listeners your specific role and responsibilities as a business development manager? As a business development manager, I'm responsible for generating new business for Birch Street. I kind of think of it as like a brand ambassador, right, within the central and central Canada region. But I also look for opportunities to help our current customers get more out of the Birch Street solution that they have. Sometimes we start out with, with a smaller project, right? And then we just evolve into some of the other areas that Birch Street offers that can really help our customers. And I think we've, we've seen that kind of changing, that demand changing out throughout the year or so, given the pandemic. Every day is really different for me. And what I like most about my position is just hearing those stories that the prospects and customers are so willing to share with you from CFOs, directors of purchasing, F&B folks, and they just talk about, you know, what their challenges are today, and it allows us to really put them with the right solution, the right Birch Street solution to alleviate some of those challenges. I appreciate the answer and the fact that you're speaking to Birch Street Solutions. That's what we provide, saving valuable money and time, and here you are talking with the key decision makers. They're sharing their pain points. You're helping them where we can make those adjustments and changes to sharpen the pencil on their behalf. And you also addressed the central region, which has seen much more investment, capitalization, people moving into that area from the east and the the west side of North America. So there's a lot of flux there. And we're coming out of the global pandemic where we've seen so many challenges across the board, whether it be in prices of paper or inflation or supply chain or labor management issues. But from your perspective, Patty, what have you seen as the challenges for the hospitality brands as we open back up now for business? This is just an unprecedented time to be in hospitality. There's things that we've we've never faced before that we're facing today, the supply chain shortage. Like who would have thought that for that renovation that you would need to order the furniture two years in advance. Who would have thought that avocados would have gone so far up in price and, and gone crazy? You know, we just never never have encountered anything like that before. And then I would also say just from the labor shortage, you think about it. At a hotel, labor labor is Key, right to that excellent customer service that our hotels want to provide. So you're seeing that hotels and hotel management companies, they're needing to figure out better ways to provide that excellent customer service without as many bodies as they used to have. Automation is key, right? As much as we can automate processes out there, the better off we're going to be. It's just, it's our reality. It's our new reality in this world. That we're living in. 
it is a new reality. We're all faced with purchasing items, whether it's online, in store, but in case of the hospitality industry, we've seen, as you said, challenges come in pricing and delivery and timing. And then as hospitality opens up more now, there is a greater need for solutions than ever before. And then enter Broad Street Systems and the solutions that we do provide, whether it's e-procurement, inventory management, invoice management, our pay solution, sourcing in contracts, or business intelligence, just to name a few, we're seeing greater interest and greater needs for Birch Street System solutions than perhaps ever before in our 20th year anniversary. But from your unique and vast experience, Patty, can you share with our listeners what you see as the primary value drivers for Birch Street System software solutions? From talking to customers and hearing their stories, right? So you're, you're listening to what's going on in, in these hotels and at the management company level. I think there's really three main areas of value that we offer Birch Street users. So think of visibility, control, and automation of manual tasks. And I'll, I'll give you an example from someone I just talked with the other day. She came to us. It's very hard for her to understand What's being purchased at the hotel? So one of her pain points is that there are orders, purchase orders being requested, not keeping an eye on it, and all of a sudden they have an overstock in a particular item. So she has no visibility into what's happening into the purchase piece of it. There's no control over who's ordering what, uh, nothing cohesive there. And really, I think, for her, she is one person in the accounting office who is sitting there trying to match these orders that have been placed with a PO, with a receipt, and or with an invoice. And it's taking up so much of her time. And then not to mention after that, then she has to go pay these invoices. So I think just to kind of summarize that value of what we bring is when we can First of all, give a tool that allows a management company or even a hotel level to to know what's being purchased, to know if those purchases should be made, to know, hey, did the price of avocados for some reason skyrocket? You know, what's going on there? Now we have that visibility. And then it's all in one system. So if somebody does order, let's say they order those avocados. We can check and make sure that the price that we were contracted is what we actually were invoiced for. And then let's go further with that. Okay, now I can automate that process of paying. So everything's checked off and the last kind of round is payment. And that's all being done through Birch Street. That whole ecosystem that allows our customers that control, the visibility, and the automation of manual tasks that, again, we go back to that labor shortage, it's so important to alleviate. That's a great example, Patty. Thanks for sharing that with us because it speaks to so many more, as you listeners know, that are out there struggling with those challenges Patty just identified and then being able to provide the solutions. It's one thing to have a pain point. It's another thing to provide a solution such as you just shared that we do here at Birch Street Systems. Now, with all of our implementations around the world and the languages that we've performed them in, everyone has to read. Now, our final question for you today is a personal one. Anyone who knows you knows you have a love of reading. And in my mind, I guess, Patty, in New Hampshire, I'm picturing you near the window. It might be a cold day. The sun is shining in. You're sitting in a cognac chair with a throw rug over you and a small furry creature at your feet and a dog-eared book bringing you lots of joy and entertainment, perhaps. I'm not sure if I'm missing the mark here, Patty, but won't you share with our listeners and myself, which I know I'd benefit from, why you have this love of reading, where it's come from, and why it makes you happy and you find it beneficial in your life? Well, I like the environment that you're talking of. It's not quite like that, but, you know, especially in the summer where I'm at the beach reading the book. Um, for sure, on the lawn chair with my my uh, feet in the water. But yeah, I just I love to read. I don't go anywhere without my Kindle for the most part. If I feel like I can 
maybe sneak five minutes in while I'm waiting to go in for an appointment. I'm going to have my, my Kindle with me. I read anything and everything, I would say. I certainly, I, I tried a book club once, didn't like it. I don't like talking about my book. I, I just feel like it skews sometimes what I, what I think of the book and what I got out of it. It's just such a pleasure. You can just live so many different lives through a book and you can also escape when you need to. Like during the pandemic, we all needed some sort of an escape route, right? So that's where I did. I just escaped into reading where, you know, some people would escape into binge watching Netflix shows. It's certainly a passion of mine. Well, thanks for sharing your passion with us, Patty. And I feel a little guilty that I turn my eBooks up to one and a half speed and they go really fast like that. And I think I'm getting a lot in when in truth, we do need to put our feet in the sand and tinkle them in the water and really curl up with that good book, take in some time to smell the roses and enjoy some quality literature. Exactly. But if you do want to binge watch Birch Street Systems YouTube video explainers, go on over to Birch Street Systems at YouTube and watch all nine of them along with our welcome video. You can also binge read our press releases, our blog, not only on our Birch Street Systems website, but on HospitalityNet as well. Today, you've been listening to Business Development Manager for the Central Region of North America, Patty Monahan. Thanks for joining us, Patty. It's been thoroughly enjoyable. Thank you, Gareth. It was fun. No problem at all. And for you, our listeners, be sure to go on over to BirchStreetSystems.com and browse our website where you'll find our product offerings of e-procurement, AP, three-way auto match, invoice management, inventory management, recipe management, Birch Street Pay, capital projects, sourcing and contracts, and reporting and analytics. And while you're there, be sure to request a demonstration into any of our product offerings to learn why Birch Street Systems is the leader in Procure to Pay. It's our 20th year anniversary, and we're proud of what we do and how we do it. Because if you need it, you want it, You've got to buy it. There's no better place to get it than Birch Street Systems. It's goodbye from us, and we'll see you next time right here on Buy It on Birch Street. <laughs>